These are Yarl texts you've never seen before. You decide if they're viable or just gimmicks. Number 19 is so good, you'll think it's scripted. See, I don't know, man. Like, jumping off... Like, these, these abyss flashes... They seem like cool, but I don't know if they're actually practical. Yeah, you, you aim the TP up here in this corner, throw it out, then you jump off the map and go for like a pop flash on the enemies around uh, the back of sight. But see, I don't like. There's just no need to jump off the map. Like I, I don't know. Th those plays are typically gimmicky to me. This is another good pop flash spot. You bounce it off the wall here on fracture. Is that the tech though that he's going for the pop flash? Uh, that one, how did Brimstone not dodge that? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just gonna say that's a gimmick, bro. I don't think that Reyna was even playing the game. See, this pixel flash is really good. I mean, it's it's good. So yeah, so you line up with the truck here against the wheel. Then you kind of create like a like right degree angle line against like the corner where the ping just is. And then you can throw a nice pixel flash for Sans on bind here. But I don't know. I think it's more practical for your teammates than it is for yourself. But I'd say it's viable. Oh, we got the fake flash. Nice. Yeah, throw the flash into CT. Now, because he threw it CT, the Astra on default is going to think he's going to be pushing from CT. When in reality, he's from heaven. I love this play. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, the fake flash works so well. It's it's a bit more advanced, um, but it, it works really well. Definitely viable. Now, what is this? Oh, wait, this flash I do. Oh, wait, I do. Wait, yeah. Dude. Yep, line it up with market, jump throw. Perfect, yeah. This flash is pretty much undodgeable. Yeah, it's really nice. I would definitely say that's viable. Here we go. We got the ult. Oh, is he gonna, it's going to knock him off from, from jumping across, right? <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, the rage just... <laughs> I wish Yoru would get the kills for that. Unfortunately, you don't get the kills for it, but I, I mean, I guess it's viable still. I guess it's viable. Oh, we got the updraft. Okay, fake the TP. Flash was a little on. Oh, Omen fake the TP too. Nice. This is a good one. Yeah, I mean, updrafting an ult, even if you don't do it like this, updrafting an ult is ridiculously strong. I talk about it in my master class a lot because it's so powerful and nobody ever does it, but like, unulting in weird spots. Oh, is he trolling him? <laughs> okay, dude. I wish he would have knifed him. Yeah, super viable tech. Oh, is this a flash lineup for top mid? Interesting. Okay. I know I know lineups and flash TPs for top mid, but ooh, this one's different. Okay, bounce off the corner up there. Nice. Okay, wait, I like that one. Sick. Flash TP being top mid like this is super risky because like it's a 50-50 on which side they'll be on. So I would say that one's a bit more gimmicky, personally. What are we going for here? Clone behind them and... <laughs> I mean, honestly, that's a viable strat. I would say that's viable. That's viable tech. Right as you unult, you want to send your clone out and then unult at the same time and walk in a straight line and kind of have them like 50-50 guess which one's the correct one. When you become a Yoru master like this, you just live rent-free in your enemy's head so much that they start second-guessing everything. If you've ever wanted to become a Yoru Master and start dominating your enemies like that, join the Yoru Master class with a link in the description. Most Valorant coaching is $100 for a single one-hour session, and mine is lifetime access. And it's 50% off right now. But the sale's ending soon, so if you're considering it, join up while you still can. I'll put a link in the description or the pinned comment down below. How to 1v5 with Yoru. Okay, so we take the TP, use the clone first. Nice. So you send the clone there first instead of you taking it after you take the TP to make them think that's actually you. Good flash here. Oh, I thought he was going to go for a ground flash there. Nice shots. Okay. Solid. I think Tarek unplugged his mouse. Oh let, me, let me see how you throw this right now. Let me see how you... I mean, Rayna's got a classic. There's just no way she wins this. Okay, so we got a, we got a TP towards B site here. Nice. Okay, I like that. The fake plant. Classic Yoru play. I love this one. Yeah, I mean, even with one HP, like it, it, he's so rent free in his head, it, it's it's it should be over. Yeah, amazing, wonderfully played, definitely viable, definitely viable. That's not a gimmick at all. The ones at tower are gonna stun me. Okay, good. I like this play. So you basically use your Yoru ult in coordination with your uh, your breach stun there, because the breach stun won't hit you while you're in your ult, but it'll hit the enemy. So you can kind of get a free kill on somebody, assuming they don't just get the aimbot breach stun buff. So definitely viable tech there. Is this a spawn TP? It seems like a spawn TP play. Um, now, yeah. So wait, th this is this is the spawn TP I taught. Yeah, this this is my spawn TP. 
Um, at least I think I was the first one to come up with this spot. I mean, they're pretty easy to find. Um, uh, I'm gonna say this flash is definitely a bit gimmicky, though. Um, be only because... I mean, like, spawn TPs in general are inherently more gimmicky because they're kind of risky to take unless, um, you're calculating them, like, super, super well macro-wise. Um, so I would say, like, I guess, I guess we'll consider that a gimmick. I mean, they're practical, but not very often. Here we go. We got an updraft in ultimate. Nice. Also, dude, it's just so good. I mean, yeah, dude, I told you, like, I talk about this in the master class a lot, but, like, unulting in weird spots is so OP. Like, look, nobody's aware. It makes the Radiant players iron. It literally just turns them into iron players. Like, nobody expects you to unult in, like, unconventional spots in your world. It's like, it, I'm telling you. That guy is definitely in the Yoro Masterclass. See, that's what's different about the Yoro Masterclass compared to what I teach on YouTube is that you learn, like, unconventional Yoro tech like that and how to, like, combine it all together that I just don't teach on the, the YouTube channel. So, if you're interested, there's a link in the description down below. It's 50% off right now. You won't regret it. Oh, wait, the breeze flash. Oh, I like this flash a lot. So, you don't necessarily have to do it from here. There's another lineup that you can do over in um, Elbow, but this is an also really solid one, too. This is kind of like the bind one. You want to aim up, bounce it off the top of this roof here. Yeah, this one's pretty much undodgeable. It's more for your teammates than yourself, though. I will say that. But, I mean, it is, it is definitely viable. Any util usage? Neon? I have util? I have util. <laughs> Again, see? He's going to unult on top of the box. Yep. I'm telling you, man. Like... If there's one thing you're going to take from this video, it's that unulting on top of boxes in weird spots <laughs> will just always get you a kill. <laughs> Definitely viable. Here we go, Ethos. Bro's going to do a phase 360 trick shot off the Abyss map. <laughs> Crazy. I mean, the the flat, the pop flash is definitely viable. I will say that. I will say the pop flash is definitely viable. Love that. Nice. The jumping off the map TP part is just for looks, though. <laughs> that part's not viable. Okay, so we got a mound lineup. Nice. This one's really solid. So you aim back slight. So actually, this one is, an, I guess, more for your teammates. If you're going to be aiming up and throw it, throwing it through this little hole in the, the roof up there. Yeah, see, so yeah, as you can see, his ISO kind of peaked off of it. So that one's really good for your teammates. It's super viable. We got the red play, okay. Oh my god, remember when Jet had two updrafts? How was that even allowed in the game? Ooh, wait, he, he, he's gonna do the drop the gun tech. Okay, fake clone. Look up, drop the gun, and then TP. And then the enemy will think... Oh no, fake zipline? Nice shot, how did Jet miss that? I think I've, I think I've seen this clip, yeah. You look up, drop the gun. And then as you TP right when you land over here, they'll hear the gun drop. And they'll think that you're still playing over in that corner when you actually TP'd. Super good play. A bit more advanced, nice. but definitely viable. TikTok, YouTube short. And a Rob Yoro video. Okay, so we jump off... What? So he jumped off the map. I mean, it's kind of viable. I guess Raze would just hear your TP, though. Clone to counter the ice salt. Okay, this seems scripted. Okay, dude. Okay, bro. This is the yeah most realistic 1v5 Yoro clip video. I think I go was just way too well timed. And Neon's just running in blindly ulti. <laughs> Wait, nah, this dude. All right, who clipped this video and put this in? I mean, I need to have a word with my team. <laughs> it is so scripted. <laughs> they probably put this in to troll me, dude. What? He TPing out of the map? Nah, that's a gimmick. That entire video was scripted. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go for an updraft play and then you'll roll ult again. Dude, yes. This is what I'm talking about, man. Like, who expects you to unult on top of screens here? Like, are you Raze? Look at that, man. Yeah, amazing. I'm telling you. <laughs> Two Minecraft ladders. Definitely viable. Ten shows off his Yoro tech and Radiant, okay? Now, Tens is in the master class. That's how he learned all of his Yoro skills. Wait, he learned um, them from me. He got he joined in on the 50% off deal uh, right now. Yet. Link in the description, only available for the next 25 members. So he's got ult, 12-7. Jet has knives too. She's wasting them all though. Okay, so we have a TP set up in Hookah. Good TP take. It's a 50-50 right now. Jet probably heard the TP, but it's a 50-50. 
He does have an extra TP if he wanted to. Oh, he could just wallbang Jet here, no? So now she knows he's in Hookah. Uh, Jet's going for the kill. She knows she doesn't have a, a, a win here. She has to get the kill, yeah. Oh shit, I was gonna nice okay. after he won his nice. W play. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> not cra nothing crazy tech-wise there. I guess he kind of just stalled with his TP. Super viable. Okay, so we got an off-the-map Yoru play. Now, this is patched out, so you can't do this anymore. So I'm gonna say it's a gimmick for sure. Okay, this guy, this guy's just gonna go... Okay, yeah, that's so OP. Dude, how far down could you get here? Dude, oh, this is just, this is a 100% a gimmick. <laughs> Dude. I unfortunately was out of town when this was happening, so I never got to actually try this, this tech, tech myself, but I mean, this is a gimmick. You can't even do it anymore. Out of all the techs in this video, I have to say the updrafting while you're an ultimate is, is the best one, no doubt. It's just too OP. If you're going to take one thing from this video, it's that you need to start making that play. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And if you want to master Yoru, join the masterclass. Link in the description.